because he's a man who keeps a promise. And he's made a lot of promises. You can count on it. You can take it to the bank. He won't let you down. He has never let me down. So I ask all of you, for your sake, for Hawaii's sake, for those who cannot speak for themselves, vote for Neil. Ladies and gentlemen, the next governor of the state of Hawaii, Neil Abercrombie. Senator Daniel K. Inouye. Senator Noy, we love you. Mahalo Nui. My dear friends, aloha. I don't know about the question, my friends, about heart. I'm not sure I know the question about what we can do as Democrats. But I know one thing. Senator Inouye spoke about his mother. And he talked about his heart and he said, this is a Democrat. Well, maybe sometimes has some tears in his eyes. Well, it's true. I have them now. Because he spoke of his mother. And I think of my mother. And what she said to me when I ran for office. My mother was five feet tall. I'm at least five inches taller than my mother. <laughs> my mother said to me, all five feet of her, you remember one thing. When I married your father, I was fired from my job. In the middle of the depression, a woman got married. My mother was a teacher. People asked me, some with a sneer on their face, what about the unions? What about organized labor? What about the teachers support you? My mother was a teacher. My mother was fired from her job because she had no protection because you could discriminate against women. Because they could say to you, oh, your husband, he's the breadwinner in the family. This is just an extra job for you. We'll hire you back. So we'll hire you back year after year after year after year so we don't have to pay you a pension. We don't have to give you health care. We don't have to give you any benefits. You don't count for anything. My mother counts for everything for me and for you. And she said, you remember me. You remember your mother. You remember the only thing that I could do when I was fired for marrying your father was to go into the office of the superintendent and stamp my foot. The most violent thing my mother ever did in her life was go into the office of that superintendent and stamp her foot in frustration because she was not treated as a full human being. This is the kind of legacy that the Democratic Party has always fought against. This is the history of the Democratic Party in Hawaii. And I pledge to Senator Inouye, and I pledge to you, that if I'm elected governor, the Democratic Party once again will continue the legacy and foundation of freedom and opportunity and justice for everyone. The first vote I cast, the first vote I ever cast in my life was for Senator Daniel K. Inouye. 
I came to Hawaii with statehood in 1959 to become a teacher, like my mother. I came to Hawaii in 1959 to find paradise, to find whether aloha was real. And I stand here before you tonight with tears in my eyes and my heart full because the people of Hawaii in their diversity, which defines us rather than divides us, has given me the opportunity to give back to you and the Democratic Party and the people of Hawaii all that has been given to me. My heart is full too. My heart is full too, full of love and affection for you all here tonight. Because we are the legacy of that proud history of the Democratic Party. You are the recipients of all that has been given. And some in this room, like Mr. Caldito Sr., has seen the same kind of history as Senator Inouye has seen. And there will be others I met earlier today, 94 years old, at the Mohiliili Community Center. The same community center whose funding has been stripped from it by those who don't understand that the reason we have the things we have today is because we care about each other and love one another and extend the aloha spirit and the sense of ohana from one to all. It doesn't matter if you're blood kid. We are all brothers and sisters to one another in this room and throughout Hawaii. A great wave, yes, a great wave was mentioned. A great wave swept across the state just yesterday as woman after woman after woman across Oahu, across Maui, across Kauai, across all the islands, the Big Island, on all sides of the Big Island, had their signs. Not for me, not for me, well a little bit for me, but not all for me. And Brian. You notice Brian, I said and Brian. And Brian. But because they were saying, that we are going to come back and make people the center of our focus, not power, not the powerful, but the people. They will be the center of this new administration after November 2nd. Yeah, there we are right now. All the women who were standing yesterday, stand. And there we are, all, of, all across, all across the hall. That's what that is. Those signs are not about Brian and myself. Those signs are about you. Those signs are about the people of Hawaii. That is the opportunity that we have before us today. And so I come here tonight at the end of a long campaign, yes. And people have said, oh, it was just six weeks to go from the primaries. We had a struggle in the Democratic Party to see who would be the nominee. Let me tell you something, and the senator is my witness on this. Someone say, well, how can the Henneman people and the Abercrombie people to get together in just six weeks' time? I know there are Henneman people here tonight, people who supported Mayor Henneman, people who supported me. But we are all here together as a team. We are all here together to work together to see that we triumph on November 2nd. And the reason we are, the reason we can do this in the six weeks is it's not about us. It's not about us as individuals or individual politicians. It's about what we stand for and what our, what our goals are, what our values are and the priorities that come from understanding what those values are. Our values are those of the Aloha spirit. Our, those values are the values given to us by those who first came across the seas. They had faith and they had hope. Think of it. Think of it. Hundreds of years ago, in outrigger canoes, full of faith and full of hope and full of trust that they could follow the stars to a distant paradise. And they did. And they came with hearts full of hope. They came with hearts full of trust that they could depend upon themselves and reach out to one another as islanders and neighbors, as Ohana. There's a reason that we have the concept of a'upuaha, from the mountain to the sea. Because everyone has their contribution to make. Everyone puts it in together, and together we succeed. There are those in the islands who understand what it is to be a good neighbor. 
because we are in the middle of the Pacific, because we are island people, we understand our dependency on each other. We understand what family and community is all about. We understand what being Pono is. We understand to do the right thing by each other. And the ones who came after, what were they seeking? The poorest of the poor, the most desperate of the desperate, no matter where they were from. They came across the sea, full of hope, full of trust, full of faith, that if they came to the islands of Aloha, if they came to paradise, they too would be accepted on the basis of not who they were, or what they looked like, or what their name was, or what their color was, but what was in their heart, and what could they give one neighbor to another. That's Hawaii. That's Aloha. And so tonight, tonight I reach out to you. I reach out to you and I say this, that your vote and the vote of your friends and your neighbors and your colleagues and your family and your community, your vote is an act of faith. Your vote is an act of trust. And if you give us that vote, if you give us that opportunity, we will honor that faith. We will respect that trust. We will never let you down. You can count on us. Aloha, Hawaii. Kimua, Hawaii. Kimua, Hawaii. Aloha, mahalo. Brian, come up, Senator. Maisie, come. All the candidates, all of our Democratic candidates, we're family. We're Ohana. There's a rabble We're rabble community. Rabble. Aloha. Aloha Maui. Ladies and gentlemen, your Democratic team!